The two parts of an injury case after a car accident are the law of the case and the story of the case. So what do I mean by the law of the case and the story of the case? Well, the law of the case is sometimes called the prima facie case or the legal case. This is the stuff that we have to be able to prove in court or the judge will throw our case out of court. In other words, if you can't prove the law of the case, your case will be thrown out by the judge. It'll be dismissed because if you can't prove the law of the case, You'll never get to trial. You'll never get to tell your story to a judge or jury. You just won't get there. The law requires you to be able to prove certain things for you even to have the right to go to trial. And a lot of people don't even know that. The second part is the story of the case. And we'll talk more about that when that section comes up. So let's dig into the law of the case, okay? There are three parts to the law of the case. First is liability. Second is damages, and third is causation. Now those are what, that's what lawyers call this stuff, but that's not really helpful to us, right? So liability means, did the other guy do something wrong? Damages means, what harm was caused? And causation means, did what the other guy do wrong cause the harm, right? And we're going to talk about each one of these in turn. So liability is, did the other guy do something wrong? And so this is how liability works. Like in a car crash case, things like the rules of the road and the layout of the property uh, where the where the crash happened, like what street, what direction, what traffic control devices, stuff like that is really important because a lot of car crash liability analysis basically comes down to the rules of the road. In other words, what law or laws or safety rules did the other guy break in causing the crash, right? So one of the important things for you to know about liability is how it works, right? So if you go to court on a case, in a car crash case, and you're claiming injuries, it's important for you to know how liability works, right? So the simplest case is you go to court and a jury or a judge and jury decide that the other guy caused the crash 100%. And if the other guy caused the crash 100% and you uh, have $100,000 in damages, and we'll discuss damages in a couple minutes here, but if, if, uh, if you have $100,000 in damages and the other guy caused the crash 100%, that means you end up with a $100,000 verdict, right? That makes sense. The other guy's 100% responsible and he caused $100,000 worth of damage. You get a verdict for $100,000 if you win the trial, right? But there are three other scenarios on the screen here that we need to talk about because of the way liability law works in the state of Illinois. Your award is reduced by your percentage fault right? Now this doesn't really apply if you're a passenger in a car, for example, but if you're driving and the other car, the, you know, the, the guy who causes the crash is also driving, it opens up an argument that you are partially at fault, and jurors love to spread the fault around a little bit, even if it's not justified, right? So they may decide, well, um, there was some testimony, the, the defendant, the other guy said you were going a little too fast, even though he ran the red light. You see that happen at trial sometimes. So that's the first scenario we have to the left side of the screen here. $100,000 in damages, like we talked about before, and if the jury decides that the other guy is 90% at fault, and you're 10% at fault, they reduce your $100,000 award by, nine, by 10%. In other words, you get 90% instead of 100%. So if you're 10% at fault, you end up with $90,000 instead of 100,000. So let's take the middle scenario. Let's say the jury decides that the other guy is 50% responsible and you are 50% responsible, okay? Under those circumstances with $100,000 in damages, you your damages are reduced by 50%, which is your percentage fault in causing the crash, right? So instead of getting 100,000 in damages, you only get $50,000 in damages, right? And the third scenario is really the one that you have to be on the lookout for. Same thing, $100,000 worth of damages. The other guy is 49% at fault, and you are 51% at fault. Not guilty, no money for you. Why is that? Well, that's the law in Illinois. If the person who is claiming damages is more than 50% at fault for the crash, according to judge and or jury, you can't recover any money. Even though you've got $100,000 worth of damage, and even though the other guy is 49% at fault. So why is this important to understand? 
It's important for you to understand this is because insurance companies, every chance they get, they will fight you on liability. They will try to make a mountain out of a molehill with any evidence they can sink their teeth into. If they can find one witness to come to court to say you did something wrong in the motor vehicle crash, they're doing it because they're shooting for that far right, not guilty, no money, or that middle one, reducing the amount of money you're awarded by a substantial percent. And it's important for you to know how this works because I guarantee you if you're involved in a car crash case and there is any credible argument from them to make that you caused or you were, you know, some percentage fault, they're going to make that argument to reduce any award you get. So how do we prove liability? Well, what we want to focus on on liability is evidence that shows the rules that the defendant broke, the traffic laws that the defendant broke. Now, one of the places we start is the Chicago crash report, the Chicago police report, because that tells us who the other driver is, who the owner of the car is, who the insurance company involved is. And on side two of the crash report, there's a narrative and a diagram showing where the crash happened. The police report also has witness information, and the witness information is key. If we have a witness that's an independent witness, no dog in the fight, that says the other guy caused the crash, that really helps you, but it cuts both ways. If there's an independent witness that says you caused the crash, we have problems, right? So getting the Chicago police report right away and checking out for uh, witness information, super important. Another thing, photos of the damage, right? It's going to be hard for a defendant to claim that you're partially responsible in a rear-end crash or in a crash where the damage on the vehicle shows that it was most likely the defendant's fault. So assembling evidence early on, taking photos, getting the police report, these sorts of things, identifying witnesses early on that show that it was the defendant's fault, the other guy's fault for causing the crash, is absolutely important. And if we don't do it, you could lose the case outright, or the damages you're awarded in the case could be reduced by quite a bit. Thanks for watching. If you or anyone you know has been hurt in an accident and needs a lawyer or even just has questions, give me a call anytime, day or night at 312-500-4500. You can call me anytime, day or night, and the consultation is free. That's 312-500-4500. Or if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer, I made two great tools that really help people out that you can use for free on my website. The links are in the description. The first one is called the Case Cash Calculator, and it tells you what your case might be worth. The other is called the good case calculator and it tells you whether you might have a good case or you might have a case with some challenges. The best part is that they're 100% free to use on my website and it only takes you 20 seconds flat to answer seven multiple choice questions right off the top of your head and then you get custom information about your particular injury situation fast and for free. So check them out, links in the description. If you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I release two new videos every week and this way you'll get notice of them. And if you have a question you'd like answered in a video, just leave a comment with your question in the comment section. Finally, if you enjoy my videos or if I've helped you in any way, I hope you'll consider doing me a favor. Injury law is a very competitive field and I like having a small independent firm so I can help people who need it. People really rely on Google reviews when deciding who to hire. So I hope you'll consider leaving me a five-star review on Google. It only takes a few seconds, but it's a favor to me that I would really appreciate. The link is in the description. You just go to that link, Click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit, and you're done. Once again, I hope you and your family are well, and if anyone you know needs an injury lawyer or has questions, please send them my way by calling 312-500-4500. Thanks again for watching. Take care.